Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about some approaches that can be used to make some ethers. Um, I'm going to start with uh, two, we're going to synthesize two different ethers in this video. I'm going to start with phenyl ethyl ether or uh, phenoxybenzene. And we're going to compare uh, the different ways of, of synthesizing this compound. Uh, and because the compound is symmetric, we can immediately rule out immediately rule out the acidic method. Yay. Um, that simplifies things. So now let's talk about uh, possibilities using the Williamson ether method. And I chose this particular ether because it can highlight uh, one additional limitation of the Williamson ether synthesis. So We can deprotonate our alcohol using sodium hydride, actually, because this alcohol is a phenol. Actually, it's just the parent compound phenol. We could, can use a weaker base because the pKa of this thing is, is 10. Uh, but I want to be consistent. And we can make the... Uh, this ether in this way. I want to, uh, as I did in the Williamson ether synthesis video, briefly consider the alternative strategy where we use the, um, or swap the nucleophile and the electrophile. So what, what, what group was once the electrophile becomes the alcohol nucleophile and what group was once the electrophile is going to become, or the nucleophile is going to become the electrophile. Uh, and I'm doing this to just highlight that this reaction is not as successful. Our high temperature uh, and even then the yield isn't uh, particularly spectacular. And the reason is that this leaving group is on an sp2 uh, hybridized carbon which means that the SN2 mechanism cannot occur. Oops. Uh, this, this reaction, if it occurs, occurs by a different kind of mechanism. Uh, and in the, the substitution and in the video sequence on the substitution reactions of aromatic compounds, particularly nucleophilic aromatic substitution, I will talk about how this reaction might work and what mechanism it would go through. Um, but generally, using the Williamson ether method, you want to pick the one where you have the most SN2 friendly substrate. And then I want to talk about alkoxymercuriation. as a pathway. And it turns out again that there's only one possible, only one possibility here. Because only one of these side thing, one of these groups on the on my uh, out on my ether can or, or looks like it can be it can come from an alkene. The the aromatic ring, the phenyl group, already has some some stuff in it. But it can be it can react as phenol as the nucleophile. And in fact, we're going to want to choose the same nucleophile ultimately for similar reasons. And this is probably not the best use of, of alkoxymercuriation. The Williamson ether reaction is going to work just fine. Copy the product in here. Oops. Uh, and it's just not possible to, to do the alternate variation because there's no alkene or anything. 
that you can react, uh, do an addition reaction on the aromatic ring. Methyl terpetoether ether is another uh, good example, or like the previous example, we're just not even going to talk about the acid catalyzed reaction. Uh, there's a tertiary that group over here. It's not symmetric. Uh, and so we're just going to start right off with the Williamson ether uh, synthesis pathway. You may already uh, be suspicious that there is a uh, at, because I've done an example here, and if you've watched the Williamson Ether video, I did another example that one of the two possible combinations is going to be better than the other. But uh, let's walk through both of them anyway. One of them starts with uh, terse butyl alcohol, the other one starts with methyl alcohol. So we take one hydrocarbon group, the alcohol, that becomes the nucleophile. It gets deprotonated. I'm going to go up here and snag. snag some stuff that I don't have to copy. I don't have to redraw. I don't want... I'm using chloromethane. Actually, probably we would use uh, methyl iodide or some other thing because chloromethane is a gas. Methyl iodide is at least a liquid. Make iodo. I have an extra arrow here. That's weird. Make uh, methyl terpetyl ether. The other kind of pathway, which would start with methanol, Whoops. And using the, the tart butyl chloride, uh, this looks like a recipe for an E2 reaction. And I would sort of rightly uh, suspect that the, instead of a substitution, we would get a whole lot of the, the E2 product. We have a tertiary substrate, we have a strong base, and uh, a protic solvent. So methanol is still present. There's not like there's a chance to react all of the methanol and then add an, an aprotic solvent. Even if we had an aprotic solvent, tertiary substrate's gonna going to avoid SN2. So once again, oh I know where my I, once again one pathway for the ether synthesis is Williamson ether synthesis is better than the other. Likewise, one pathway for the uh, alkoxy mercuriation is better than the other. Uh, we can't have an alkene with only one carbon, believe it or not. Uh, alkenes need to have two carbons or more. And so only the tert butyl group can be, what am I doing? Only the tert butyl group can be uh, can be the alkene, but that's good because the alkoxy mercuriation reaction is pretty tolerant of uh, highly substituted alkenes. I don't get rid of my get rid of my phenol. Put my methanol in here. And so this reaction is going to actually work out really well. Starting with the alkene, adding methanol in the presence of mercury, followed by the uh, the removal of mercury. Uh, and I just realized in this video that I have been writing uh, hydrogen peroxide when in fact it's, and, and talking about oxidizing the mercury off of things when in fact uh, the demercuriation step is a reduction using sodium borohydride. So I apologize for that. Uh, it doesn't necessarily change the, the outcome or the approach, but I, but I apologize for that. Uh, and if you're my student in my class and you want to come grouch at me, you know where to find me. Uh, and then this concludes uh, my sequence of videos on ether synthesis. Uh, coming up, I'm going to talk about the reactions of ethers. Thanks for watching.